Hey friends, so today I'm going to show you how to use patterns in Cricut Design Space. One of the best features that's probably underused in Design Space today. So this is perfect for that day that you are crafting something and you just don't have the right paper or you have a vision that um, is not already stocked in your craft room and you have to run to the craft store and then end up not finding the right paper anyway. That has happened to me so many times. Patterns is your answer. It's going to answer all of those crafting woes. Not only that, I'm going to give you the link down below this video for you to go down and get one of my old Valentines that I designed for my kids a few years ago. And we're going to bring that into Design Space and I'm going to show you how to put patterns on it that are your own style. Um, and then you can, you know, print and cut that out and give those out as class Valentines. It's going to be so much fun. You are crafting with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and I will meet you in Design Space. Now we're in Design Space and I've gone ahead and um, opened up a new canvas and I've titled or saved it as Valentine Candy Bar Wrapper. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into Upload and I've, I've linked the files that you would want to use down below this video. So you can just open those up, download them to your computer, and then you will upload them into Design Space. So you'll do that by clicking the upload image and bringing those in. One is a JPEG, which is your print then cut piece. And the other is an SVG, which is simply the size or the, um, you know, it's a rectangle for the wrapper itself. And I did it this way um, because I want to show you how to be able to apply that pattern. Now, if you literally wanted to make this um, completely your own, you could bring in this cut file, I mean this, um, JPEG, you could bring it in and make it a cut file. So it would literally just be the shape, the scalloped shape. Um, and when you upload that image, it's going to give you that choice. So for today, we're going to use them this way. We'll insert our images. Okay, so we have two pieces. So this one is the one I'm going to apply pattern to. So right now it's just black. Um, and it should be, I'm going to actually unlock it and it should be 5.125 and it should be 6 high so there we go and I'm gonna relock it now that is my wrapper and this is the perfect size to wrap around a Hershey's bar and then this is my print then cut piece and I am going to resize it to fit my wrapper Just a smidge bigger. Okay, so that's about perfect. And these will print, you know, the one piece will print out and the other, um, well, they'll both print out and then you'll be able to add them to each other. So just make sure that you center them so that they're on the top of the candy bar. And at this point, there's two things you can do. We're gonna add a pattern to that background. You could also use a pin if you wanted to, to sign um, each of these from your child. I think it's cuter if they put on their own little handwriting, but that's totally up to you. Or if you wanted to personalize this for a teacher or something like that, you could use the pen tool here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our rectangle, our wrapper rectangle, and we're going to go up to cut. You see that? And you see material patterns. And then you see here print. So we've changed this to fill print, and right now it's black. But if I wanted to add a pattern, I simply click on color, I select pattern, and then because um, the sweetest is in a red color, what I would suggest is hitting filter and choosing red. And this is going to show you every pattern that's in the system that has red in it. Um, so I am loving the gingham. This one I actually designed myself for my back to school cartridge, um, which is an apples. It's actually really cute. Like if you were going to do this for a teacher, I would say the apples um, would be super cute for that. But if this is for your child um, to give out in class, you could do the gingham. Um, there are some really cute like little polka dots and things. Um, and this is this pattern does have a line through it. I didn't design this one, but this pattern does have a line through it, but it will be on the back side of your candy bar, so no one would ever see it. Um, there are, see there's some polka dots there, some sort of more old-fashioned like gingham. There was one 
that was super similar in color, like this one. How fun is that? That's the color of our blue. How cute, right? And then you can, like I said, you can swap these out and make it your own, make it whatever you want it to be. Or if you wanted to use a different color, you wanted to use the blue, or if you wanted to introduce a different color, a pink or something, that would be great too. But now that you've done this, now you have two um, print then cut items, and it's pretty simple from here. You just need white cardstock. Okay, so the next thing we do is we hit save if we've not already, and then we hit make it. Okay, so you see this is going to print out one per sheet, and if you printed this out yourself um, from like the uh, files that I have online that are literally, you know, they don't use the Cricut, you just print and cut, it would be the same exact way. You would use a full sheet of paper for that um, design, so you're not saving anything by, you know, doing it with my colors or my patterns that are on my website. So make this your own. So here we go. So we've got this, and if you wanted to Say if you were making, um, you know, multiple ones for your class or if you're doing a couple for the teachers, you would be able to increase your projects here. We're just going to do one. So we'll hit continue. And my maker is already attached. If it wasn't, this is where you would connect your machine um, so that it would recognize and print everything out. And you see the first thing it does here, because this is a print then cut project, is going to go to send to printer. Sending to printer, uh, again, you could do more copies here. Add bleed, I would um, just make sure, this is not a very complex piece, but I would always add a bleed um, because like this one has the scallops on it. And this is just gonna make sure that you don't have any white. When that machine cuts out your design, it's not gonna have any white um, around your scalloped your scallops in the blue. Okay, we hit print. Okay, and so this is going to send it to my Canon. Um, at this point, I can, um, I don't want to do two-sided, of course, I'm just going to do one piece, and then you can go ahead and hit print. Okay, so now I've printed my piece, and now we're on step two, which is setting your material. So I just used a cardstock, and so I'm going to select cardstock for intricate cuts. And it's star, there's a star here because I have saved it as one that I use often. If you don't see cardstock here for yourself, then go up to browse all materials and go down to cardstock. So we're going to select cardstock, and then we're going to go over to our machine and literally insert uh, the mat and cut. Okay, so we simply load, and then the machine is going to read our marks. So it's going to read the box around our print then cut, and then it's going to um, cut, and it'll cut our scallops, and it will cut our top piece. It's amazing to me how beautifully it will cut these scallops out. And it actually goes over them twice, so this is its second round and it's almost done, and then I'll be able to pop it out and show you how good this cut was on a print then cut. We unload our mat. And then, look at that. Look how perfect those scallops are. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. Okay, so now everything's printed out. The machine cut them out perfectly. I went ahead and did another design. Um, and now I'm gonna show you how to assemble these. So, so, so simple. So we have some Hershey bars, which are my favorite, um, but you could put any of the standard candy bar sizes on it. And you just wrap it around the candy bar like this. And then we're gonna put a piece of tape. So let me get my tape. Cause I decided to use cardstock, um, which is a great, you know, quality, a great grade but it wants to pop back really quick. So flip it over to the back, get it even, and put a piece of tape on it. Okay, flip it back over. And now we're going to attach, um, you are bar none the sweetest, and we're gonna put that right on top. And I'm going to use um, just glue dots to put that down. 
instead of tape. But of course you could use tape as well. But I had these in the studio and I like glue dots. All right, and then just center that. How cute is that? And then your child can sign it um, and you're ready to give those out as class Valentines. Okay friends, so now that you know how super simple it is to use patterns in Cricut Design Space, I hope you'll use it more in your crafting and I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos and I'll see you guys next time. Class Valentine's into something that you can design yourself and my dog will not quit barking. like take 47 please stop barking it's in cricket design space it is one of those super <laughs> my dog she's a puppy and she does not like to be separated from us we are just that awesome oh my goodness, she cries all the time like you're five feet away she cries and then i feel bad for her and then i go play with her and then i don't get anything done <laughs> Oh, being a puppy mama is not easy, people. Okay, I'm going to try this again. <laughs> hey, friends. So today I'm going to show you how to use patterns in Cricut Design Space. She hears my voice, and she has a fit. I'm never going to get this video done. <laughs> having a baby, a toddler, all over again. Doesn't she sound pathetic? 